Is the Survey Corps gonna continue kicking more ass in Attack on Titan? So what's up guys, Fox in here. Time for the follow-up discussion video for Attack on Titan Chapter 104. All of the Survey Corps members have been super victorious up to this point. Well, the ones that have names anyway. Let's just see how long that streak continues. But anyway, there's a ton of topics here, let's go ahead and get started. To start this off, let me bring up the Jaws Titan. Although it might be for a different reason than what you'd expect. I really like that in this shot, you could clearly see the hardened free claws. I think up to this point, you only seen the Jaws Titan get hard from the front. Overall, this guy's just seeming a lot more deadly by the chapter. Next up, something a lot of you guys have been asking about. Where was Levi this chapter? Unfortunately, for whatever reason, he was just gone this chapter. And really, Levi could have been really helpful. Especially after Mikasa missed her first shot at achieving some Jaws barbecue. So we now have a big mystery. What was Levi up to? Could Levi have been busy escorting Zeke somewhere for the blimp pickup? And yes, I do mention Zeke. There's no way that guy died. Not without getting some final words or thoughts in. For this chapter, the only thing you saw of Zeke was the remains of the beast titan that Levi blew up. Shouldn't the body of this beast titan have started disappearing by now? I really don't think that he said much show the beast titan remains just randomly. Perhaps, Zeke got his beast hard right before Levi went terrorist on his ass. Zeke could be waiting there in the bottom half of the beast's body. So, Zeke is definitely not dead. Although, to be fair, this isn't discounting the possibility of Zeke backstabbing them. As it stands right now, Zeke could easily come out of hiding and blow up their escape ride so easily. All that he has to do is just get the beast tightened up one more time. Yeah, remember that throwing ability? But now the question would be, would this happen? I don't know, chances of Zeke backstabbing, maybe 50-50? What do you think? Next up, Hanji. Hanji is back this chapter. I did find it strange how I was getting a lot of questions about her. I thought it was already extremely obvious, but some people want me to directly mention it. In this chapter, you see Hanji with her eyes still hurt. Which really means, as expected, Hanji is not the female titan. Otherwise, her eye injury would have healed. As for Annie's whereabouts, perhaps Annie's still stuck back on Paradise Island in her Sleeping Beauty state. Next up, since we're talking about Hanji, let me also talk about that black guy that was on the blimp, piloting it. So we got an official name for him. His name is Onyakopon. And yes, I'm sure I'm butchering that. For him, notice that Marley uniform. Could this guy have been undercover within Marley? And if he was, what does this mean about the Survey Corps members' relation to him? I mean, did Hanji and him just steal one of Marley's aircrafts? Hmm. There have been some ideas going around about who this guy is. I've seen some people bring up that possibly this guy is being held at gunpoint or being threatened by Hanji. This I really doubt. You can see the lines from Hanji, I'm counting on you. He replies back, I promise you're in good hands, Commander. From this, it doesn't really seem like someone who's being threatened. So here's some other possibilities. The idea has floated around. Possibly this was one of the guys on the, one of the ships sent to Paradise Island. This could be possible, but I think this other thing is more likely. Right now, the Survey Corps members probably have this partnership with the nation that also wants to take down Marley. I did just mention those ships. Perhaps Marley wasn't the first nation that the Survey Corps visited in, in the past four years. They did have to get Eren onto that battlefield somehow. As far as you know, Hanji could have formed some alliances years back. Next up, let me bring up this chapter's translation. The Tag on Titan chapter this month leaked super early. Naturally, there would be a couple of mistakes with the fan translations. The first scene you should notice is the one of Eren versus Reiner. There's a pretty significant difference here. The fan translation mentioned something about Eren being low on energy. It turns out that instead, Eren was stating that Reiner was the one out of energy. Although I could see Eren being low on gas too. After three Titan transformation, he must be running low. By the way, thanks to the official translation, we now know that Eren didn't conveniently run out of stamina when Reiner appeared. Also, another thing to notice, Eren never mentioned anything about being unable to kill Reiner there. Instead, Eren was talking about being aware of Reiner's ability, that Reiner wouldn't be able to kill them there. In other words, Eren was aware of Reiner's physical and mental state. The other translation difference you should notice was Armin's scene with Hanji. The fan translation had Hanji comparing Armin to Eren, but this was completely wrong. In reality, Hanji was making a reference to Erwin, being possessed by Erwin's ghost, which makes the situation a lot more clear. Next up, I need to bring this up. 
Did you end up falling for some of the fake spoilers? I've seen more than a couple people post this fake picture in my past video, which is Jean getting headshotted by Gabby. If you thought this was real, sorry, you fell for the April Fool's prank. Yup, it's completely fake. Now, this isn't saying that it's not gonna happen, but this particular scene is fake. People were saying this was a spoiler from the next chapter anyway. That would have been way too early for some leaks. Also, a side note too, since some of you guys have been asking. Yes, originally I did plan to make some Attack on Titan related April Fool's video. Unfortunately, April 1st was also the day I landed in Japan. Since I am completely incapable of sleeping on airplanes, when I landed, I had been up for over 24 hours. So, I couldn't get to it. Sorry about that, but maybe next year. Next up, let's talk about Gabby. As it stands right now, it seems that Gabby may be one of the most hated characters in Attack on Titan, at least based on what I'm seeing in the comment section. There's so much hate coming for Gabby as she may kill or shoot someone, and it really has been like that for a couple of chapters. Right now, it seems to just be a guessing game. Who is Gabby gonna shoot? Will it be Eren, the Stallion, Falco, Mikasa, Levi, herself, the Blimp? We really should start placing bets right now. For right now, let me know where you stand on Gabby. Do you hate her as much as some people do? And at this point, do you still think she's gonna kill someone? Since we're already talking about Gabby, let me also bring in Falco too. Notice this particular shot. There's a particular parallel in the bottom panel. It really seems to mirror Eren and Armin back when they were really young. And no surprise, Gabby pretty much seems like a female Eren. Just notice that there are a couple of top questions about these two. Which one of them is gonna die and which one is gonna live? Which one of them is also going to inherit a titan? Right now, it seems like Reiner is right for the taking. But let's not forget about Peak. She's also well done, literally. Could you see Gabby as a car titan and Falco as a new armor titan soon? Although sorry, Reiner. I think that Reiner is doomed to suffer for a while longer. And then you also have Peak. Killing Peak off right now seems like a waste of her character. There's gotta be some follow-up scene of Peak trying to get some revenge, or at least seeing more of her thoughts about what happened to Zeke, especially if Zeke really does betray them. Also, here's a crazy idea coming about Gabby. What if Gabby somehow makes it onto the blimp and gets captured? Potentially after this arc, you're not gonna see Marley for a while. Gabby sticking around for a while could give you this different Marley perspective. Just think about it. Female Eren hasn't also interacted with Hobo Eren yet. Next up, let me bring up Eren and the Warhammer. Ultimately, right now it seems like the scout's plan was to gain the Warhammer. Or at least this could have been a good chunk of that plan. The way I see it right now, Eren hoped to gain the Warhammer or come up with some plan with the Beast Titan. Achieving either of those would have been one victory for the Serbi Corps. Ultimately, they could use Zeke's Royal Blood Titan for the coordinate ability. Or the second option, steal the Warhammer for his powerful capabilities. Right now it seems like they got both. And I don't know if it was part of the plan, but Eren might have gained something else. You got that looking into the sun moment after Eren ate the Tiber sister. Here, Eren could have gained some of the past Kruger or King's memories. I mean, just think about it. The Warhammer memories could have been the missing piece of this puzzle. How did all this Titan business start? Was Ymir really a goddess or a witch? Did Eldia commit mass genocide? Or was that simply all of Marley propaganda? Also, a couple of other things to consider about Eren now that he has a Warhammer. Is Isayama potentially setting up Eren to be the final villain for the world and Marley? Also, right before they exit Marley, is there any chance of Eren unleashing the Warhammer power? That would be a very nice parting gift, just drilling their victory more into Marley. Next up, let's talk about Eren's best friend, Armin, or should I say the new Colossal Titan. So this chapter, you saw the aftermath of that nuke. I'm just wondering, how many times has Armin actually tested this? I mean, I guess they have enough room on Paradise Island to test a few of these nukes. It might be nice to get some flashback on this. About Armin himself, since you actually saw him in person more this chapter. Did Armin not get much taller? In this chapter, you see him standing close to Hanji. Hanji is supposed to be 170 centimeters. So did Armin only grow by a very little? And could this possibly affect the Colossal Titan capabilities? Or maybe I should say compatibility. Next up, let's not forget about the female of the trio, Mikasa. For Mikasa, I've seen so many people bring up the idea that she's about to die. I'm not sure why this seems to be popular right now. That Gabby may shoot her, or that Mikasa might mess up again in the battle and then get hurt. For Mikasa actually dying? Sorry, I really don't see this. If anything, Mikasa could be one of the safest characters in Attack on Titan. I would actually bet money that Mikasa is going to be breathing at the end of the story. However, 
It would be nice if Isayama actually gives Mikasa something more to do post time skip. For a good while now, most of Mikasa's focus has been her connection to Eren. Just compare this to Eren and Armin who've grown tons in comparison. Next up, let me bring up one complaint about this whole mission that I think is actually pretty justified. And this just has to do with Eren slowing down and then completely stopping as he was about to munch on the Jaws Titan. Of course, this was all due to Reiner's sudden appearance. I personally don't necessarily have this complaint, but I do see where you guys are coming from. I mean, really? Why stop Eren? Quickly munch on the Jaws neck. Do it while looking at Reiner. It's possible to do both. It would have taken Eren like an extra 5 seconds to eat the Jaws Titan. Even if Reiner was coming at full power, there's a ton of other Serico members around. How about Mikasa, Levi, or even the Stallion? They're all freed up. They could have easily bought Eren an extra 30 seconds or longer. Next up, let's talk about that blimp escape. There still has been minimal to none Serico casualties. People that have names anyway. And just to be clear, just because I'm pointing this fact out, doesn't mean it's a complaint I have. So, could the fall down of this survey course luck have something to do with the blimp? Is it gonna go boom next chapter? Considering this thing is such a huge easy target, I have a really hard time imagining they're gonna fly out of this no problem. So, could Armin and Hanji have a different plan instead? Right now the blimp could be taking them to a nearby ship. Everyone on board could jump off while Marley is distracted on taking this blimp down. That way, the survey corps could escape back to Paradise Island or to some ally nation. Keep in mind that Isayama has been teasing Gabby with that gun for too long. I'm honestly not entirely sure whether that gun could bring it down. So gun experts, feel free to comment. But anyway, enough from me, let me hear from you. Question of the day. Did Eren really become the new Warhammer Titan? Why do you think Reiner was having Titan transformation problems? Was Armin's Colossal Titan what you expected? Do you think the Survey Corps is working with another nation? And are they just going to be able to fly out of Marley no problem? Also, let's not forget about Gabby. Who is Gabby going to ultimately shoot? And are you one of the ones that completely hates Gabby's guts? If you enjoyed this breakdown, definitely give it a colossal thumbs up and subscribe. More Attack on Titan videos are coming every week. There's a lot of juicy stuff this chapter, so expect some of these topics to get their own dedicated videos. By the way, did Eren truly become the new Warhammer? A lot of you guys don't think so. So check out my video on this and I'll see you guys later.